got here? Frank Russo. Frank Russo. You're one of the Frank Russos. You're not, it seems to be more than one generation, isn't there? Yes, it's Frank the third. Are you the second? I'm junior. You're junior. Yeah, we were senior where it all started. Okay, so you, the, I'm getting there's junior, and there's another junior, too. There's a third, Frank there's the third. There's a third, okay. So, <laughs> so we have Frank Senior. Right. Who originally started the Villa Russo. Mm-hmm. He started everything. Frank Junior, which is myself. And then there's my son, Frank the third. Oh, there he is. Okay. Now, uh, what I wanted to ask you about, I understand that you had problems in regards to the hurricane. So like, tell me what was the, what damage did you have and what was it like when during the hurricane? I mean, I got that you were all here. Yes, we were. Um, I mean, people have experienced it a lot worse. Um, we are very fortunate and blessed that we had a great team and within uh, 33 days, we wind up reopening Retro. And within uh, eight days, we've got Russo's back up and running. Um, it took us quite some time to complete the full renovation, which we just about completed uh, about a month ago. So it's been a long year. Um, there's been a lot of pressure. Um, that's been put on a management team. Um, but we're very fortunate between the customers. We thank them for their support, um, their loyalty and my team that has uh, put their dedication and time to get us where we are. Well, how much, uh, how much dam damage did you actually have here? Uh, we've lost the full basement wine cellar. Were wines floating down the street? Yeah, we had some fun okay. with them. Were people We're floating? still looking for them. <laughs> okay. We're still looking for some wines. <laughs> but we lost the full wine cellar, uh, full inventory which has taken PJ Wilkes to explain uh, probably about three years to build that inventory. Um, so there's really some special wines there. Um, so it'll take us some time to come back. Um, I mean, as far as the operation, we have a tremendous amount of water damage downstairs, tremendous amount of wind damage uh, up here. Um, but we had to redo everything. How far up did it go? I mean, I, I understand there's a outdoor part of the place upstairs on the roof? Yes, sir. as far as the Murano. Murano yeah. wasn't touched. That We just had some wind damage in, from the roof. Um, I mean, we here, Mike Russo, who's our building manager, supported the building pretty well. So we had about 15,000 sandbags around the building. Um, so that saved us pretty much on this floor as far as the water, but uh, the basement was wiped out. Now, have you been an inspiration to the rest of the neighborhood? You know, as, the, as for instance, I was at like Fairway Market over in uh, Red Hook because they did all this rebuilding, became a sort of inspiration in Red Hook. So, would you, the between the two restaurants, like the inspiration for everybody else to say, if they could do it, we could do it? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that. I think it was the whole neighborhood that came together, um, which made us. And it was nice to see everybody pull together. Um, and do their part. I don't want to say we're the inspiration. Um, do you think everybody, uh, I'm not familiar with all the places here, did everybody reopen or are there still places there's that some are... There's some still closed. Uh, as of today there is uh, 7-Eleven still has not opened, uh, Vincent's Clam Bar has not opened, um, the laundromat has not opened. Well, so certainly, certainly a way to clean your clothes, oh, yeah. I suppose, but it's not, not the best. <laughs> So uh, there's still a few stores that were out. Um, some have changed hands, and others have come in to reopen. Um, How about the, the, the decor of this restaurant? If I was here about a year or so ago, and now I'm here, would I notice a lot of differences? No. Or? And that we want to keep it that way. We oh, want okay. to get the same feel, so we brought it right back to its life. Okay, and just curious, in terms of the food, what was... What would you say to the cuisine? The Italian cuisine is from any particular area from, of Italy? Um, I would say it's more of the uh, northern Italian. But Mike, our executive chef, has a great flair, so he tries to bring in a lot of different uh, areas. Uh, when we first opened, he used to do a region every month and change that region. Oh, okay. Just to keep it spiced up. So he's uh, a great inspiration. Our food 
and, uh, and keeping that uh, spark. Okay, so I guess we're going to do some kind of tasting this evening, huh? Yes, what we're going to try to do is bring Vetro yeah. um, and Russo's together. Um, we are very well known um, at Russo's, of course, we opened 26 years ago. And our thought there was bringing the restaurant to the catering industry, um, which at that time was really known as the catering for the rubber chicken. So we took that, which is my father, from the restaurant end of it and brought that to catering. Uh, 21 years later, we have taken the catering, which is Russo's, and brought it to Vetro. So now we're back into the restaurant business. Okay. Uh, and so we just reversed what we started out to do and, uh, and built onto that because of the team that we had. And just as a kind of a number, how much like, in terms of like cost, a basic kind of thing to get this back together? Insurance wise, we're about 5.2 million. Wow. Did you have uh, problems regarding with the insurance? Did, with the, was Sandy, was the whole system good to you about? Absolutely not. <laughs> the insurance company's job is to take our money and pay us nothing. Okay. And we still got paid hardly any. Whoa, so, so you wound up a lot of your own money? Yes, yes. But hopefully it'll all pay it'll off. It'll all work out at the end. I'm very confident. Okay. That. Well, I'm looking forward to eating the food. Good. We hope you enjoy it. I thank okay. you for being here. Thank you. Okay.